We are TG11, Group 6, and today we are going to present our strategy for Sunflower for 2019. So to start off with, we'll be looking at the financial highlights for the last 5 years. And we can see that from 2017 to 2018, there was a significant decrease in terms of revenue and net profit. And in fact, there was a negative 69% decrease in terms of net profit since last year. And when we try to find out the root cause of this uh, loss in revenue, we understand that it's actually because of the society demand for more um, affordable medicine. And this leads to the government in uh, two of the largest markets for Sun Pharma, the US and the Indian market, to actually try to cut down the profit margin for pharmaceutical companies and force them to slash the prices of the medicine that they sell. And because of this, if we look at the operating performance by market for Sun Pharma, we actually recognize that the revenue for the US market actually dropped by 34%. And because this US market is actually 34% of the entire revenue for Sun Pharma, um, it became a huge decrease of revenue uh, overall for the company. And as such, we can understand that Sun Pharma can no longer rely just on its existing products and its existing market for growth because it's extremely difficult um, to change the regulations or to change the demand for affordable medicine. So we did an analysis of the company and we recognized uh, several of the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats for Sun Pharma. And so we picked out a few of the strengths that we want to utilize, such as the economies of scale, the strong brand presence in India, uh, the committed R&D investment, and also manufacturing expertise to take, sort of take advantage of the opportunities that we recognize, um, such as new technology, uh, emerging markets, and also increasing rate of obesity and other diseases. So all in all, our strategy objective this time round is to find growth in alternative areas. And we'll be looking at three areas, namely product, process, and market. So my colleagues later will be explaining how we can use these strategies to grow the company. In our first strategy, we'll be looking at how it will be viable for them to, go, to have a strategic alliance with an AI-driven startup or companies for the drug discovery process. So we have identified that Sun Pharma is a strong, has a strong presence as a market leader and has strengths in manufacturing and R&D. However, there are gaps in the market to address. For example, the competitive environment of the newly owned drugs makes, hurts the revenue stream of Sun Pharma, as well as the costly and lengthy drug discovery process, which affects all pharma companies. Thus, we are looking at market opportunities such as the significant growth in data resources in the healthcare sector. So the growth in data means that now global companies will now have to rely on digital technologies such as IoT and AI technology. Hence, our strategy proposes to look into collaborations with tech and startups in India and we have found out that one of the companies is very suitable to work with Sun Pharma Hence, we suggest for them to work with Vinyani, which is a Chennai-based startup who specializes in machine learning algorithms to help with healthcare solutions. So this relationship will be mutually beneficial as Sun Pharma can gain from its AI infrastructure to bring out AI capabilities to the business, where Vinyani, who is looking for international and national level um, investors to build their position as an international leader in AI technology in the healthcare sector. So other AI companies that we are also looking into are examples are like IndyG, Intuition and InnoTexas. So these companies assist in healthcare and organizational users uh, using technology and they also do AI, big data and data analytics to support drug development and biomarker identification. In our implementation, we actually want to set up a new unit in Sun Pharma known as Sun AI. Sun AI will be the technological R&D arm of Sun Pharma who makes use of AI and analytics for drug discovery process. So the collaborations is to work, engage the teams on a contract basis to work in Sun Pharma, uh, to work in Sun AI 
for a period of five to ten years, depending on the discovery, um, drug discovery process and the research project. And the research will focus mainly on the specialty portfolio of Sun Pharma, as this it has been proven to give out higher margins. So right now, we actually know that there's prevailing users of AI in pharma, from pharma R&D, all the way to commercialization and even regulatory purposes. So Sun Pharma should look into these areas to identify key points where uh, the R&D processes can be improved. So what's next? We will actually work with Business Academia to have a partnership to look into academia research as it has been proven to aid in identifying um, new biological targets and promising leads to grow AI capabilities. We also hope to have a membership with um, the Alliance in Artificial Intelligence in Healthcare, which is an organisation to participate in global AI industry conferences and events. The investment required for this strategy will take about 43 million based on past um, collaborations with Estensia in 2018. It's a long-term cutting, cost-cutting and profit-generating strategy where we look at lessening the time required for drug discovery and detection of errors and streamlining the cradle-to-grave R&D process. The cost reductions that we'll be looking at will be the drug dosage errors reduction by about 16 billion in the market and the clinical trials which has been proven to have 37% reduced time required and 16% more likely to reach market launch. These are the benefits of AI used in healthcare. Our long-term benefits that we will want to do is the tackling of the uprise of a biopharma startups that will disrupt the pharmaceutical market. And also, we hope there will be more ANDA-approved drugs under Sun Pharma to propel them to greater heights in the industry. For strategy two, we will be looking into market expansion to introduce smoking cessation drugs in the Indian market. The current problem in India is that they, are, they have over half a million of underage smokers in India. And despite the government efforts in uh, imposing a lot of rules, but it's ineffective. And thus resulted in cost death toll continue to rise due to the rising of the smoking. The big idea is to manufacture and market smoke cessation drugs for new potential market due to rising underage smoking trend. And our desperation is that uh, there are large segments of smokers and also at the same time com company can build brand reputation by supporting the or solving the social problem and also in support to government in pushing for more affordable medicine. The active ingredient is called known as a uh, veronicin, veronicin, and this medicine, the purpose of this medicine is to block the nicotine effect on the brain. And to suit the teenage market, we recommend to mix this medicine with mints, strawberries, or lemon. In the existing supplier in, in India, they are actually importing this medicine from USA, Canada, and Europe country. Based on our research, we know that their largest competitor manufacturer is Pfizer Limited, which is a German company. Our market proposition is that we are using the traditional media methods, which installing billboard advertising along roadsides, cinema, arcade centers, and nightclubs. And these are these methods are affordable and also effective in reaching our target market. Our target customers are actually the parents of other underage smoker and also the companies that are related to the social welfare organization. The current supplier of Verenic Cream in India are as shown. In our financial projection, the first in the first year we are expecting about 50,000 customers, which is about 10% of the underage smoker. And based on our pricing strategy, we aim to sell lower than our competitor which is selling at 1,000 rupee per box. And with this, we are expecting, we are estimating a revenue of 50 million rupee dollars.
Our third strategy is to expand our business to the second largest pharmaceutical market, China. Majority of Sun Pharma's revenue come from US, which is the largest and most established pharmaceutical market in the world. Hence, it will be difficult for Sun Pharma to establish themselves as a preferred brand in the developed markets. The government is revising its healthcare system such that its population can have better access to quality drugs and treatments through its national health plan. Although imported drugs are, co as co are costlier compared to domestic drugs, domestic, gene domestic generic manufacturers fail to match foreign markets in terms of drug quality. As such, the government are intending to procure drugs from foreign companies in bulk. Despite the lower prices quoted by the China government, many pharmaceutical companies are willing to supply as the large volume will compensate for the lower margins. Sun Pharma has the reputation of having well-established products in India, being the largest pharmaceutical company with its own manufacturing facilities located in India, Sun Pharma will be equipped with the scale to expand its operations to the emerging China market. In 2017, China has also introduced the priority review pathway with a requirement to conduct clinical trials in China for new drugs that has been, has been removed if they have been licensed outside China in developed markets such as US or EU. This will be a competitive advantage for some farmers' products that has been approved by the US or EU's FDA. Hence, this approval process will be very swift. Phase one of our strategy is to enter uh, the China market. China government has expressed keen interest to work with pharmaceutical companies from India by providing them with tax incentives and lowering, lowering the barriers to enter China market. To avoid an unanticipated political risk, Sun Pharma should establish a joint venture with the largest state-run pharmaceutical company, Sino Pharmaceutical. In addition, this joint venture will allow Sun Pharma to tap, to tap on Sino Pharmaceutical's extensive distribution networks to penetrate into the different tiers of the market at minimal cost and risk. Our second phase is to enroll manufactured drugs in the state-funded insurance program. The changing, the changing health and demographics of China's population is driving the significant growth in the pharmaceutical market. For example, with, its rep, with the rapidly aging population and 4 million new cancer patients each year, the government needs to ensure drugs required for treatments are available and affordable. Hence, the government is working towards expanding its state-funded insurance program to cover more drugs. Currently, subsidized drugs are mainly prescribed in state-run hospitals and clinics. This could affect the demand of the drugs if they are not included in the state-funded insurance program. But agreeing to the significant price reduction and by tapping on its strategic relationship with Sino Pharmaceuticals, Sun Pharma can enroll some of its drug products that are high in demand in its state-funded insurance program. With the voluminous demand in China, expanding its business in China through a joint venture will be, will be will decrease some farmers' reliance in the U.S. market and increase its profit in the long run. So to sum it up, we'll be looking at the implementation timeline for the strategies that we have mentioned. So for the next quarter of 2019, we're looking at how we can collaborate with uh, the Yang Ni uh, for strategy one, and also we'll be looking at how we can source our suppliers for the smoke cessation drugs materials, and we'll be looking at how we can do the joint venture arrangement with the uh, Sino Pharma. And in the next half, we'll be looking at uh, conducting R&D to develop the smoking cessation drugs. And also, we'll be looking at how we can enter into the strategic alliance with Sino Pharma, targeting um, to finish up the alliance in 2020. And in the next half, 2020 second half, uh, we'll be looking at setting up the new R&D unit, uh, Sun AI, on the AI drug discovery. And also, we'll be finalizing the market distribution channels uh, in China. And lastly, for 2021 and beyond, uh, looking at how we can propose business academia partnerships with universities and enroll as a member of the AIH. And we'll be looking um, for strategy two to manufacture and market for smoking cessation drugs by 2025. And in strategy three, we'll be looking at how we 
to enroll into the China Fund, State Foundation's programs. And that's it for our presentation. Thank you.